Hello everybody, this is James. Here is the allotment. I've done some work on the allotment. I've uh, turned a lot of it over. I've left that little bit over there, but the rest of this I've put topsoil and on top of the topsoil I've put some of these bark chippings and I've even planted some of the peppers that I had in those plastic containers that I don't know what to do with so I've just left these here and see what happens with them some of them are quite doing quite well these ones are bigger but I've not saved any of them because they're the small sweet type and I'm not really interested in them this buddleia here is not doing too well there's a new sh there's a few shoots on it coming but I'm just going to leave it now see what happens the globosa is looking good the hebe over there seems all right but the rest of the hebe's uh, haven't been doing so well some out the front have been dying as well um i don't know what's going on there there's this buddleia that's been pruned it's starting to send out lots of little new shoots now in here we have the uh, pepper plant project i've left these the red chili ones in this little container i'm, keep, I'm just gonna see if i get any more really quick ones growing in there but the rest these are uh, just some ordinary ones from a uh, food that I ate. In here, in this bigger greenhouse, makeshift greenhouse here, made of recycled plastic, I've got all lots of... Those three in the bigger pots are the three that I've still got from last year that I never really uh, tried. I, I planted them too late. But this year I've planted in February, March, and all of these bigger ones in the small pots, uh, they might need repotting soon. Okay, they, these are all the ones I bought. And over here, these are all just ordinary bell pepper fruits. And they are all a little bit smaller than the ones I bought. But I'm still happy with their progress. Some of these are looking really good. This one here, this one, slightly bigger. I think they're from orange bell peppers. They might not produce orange fruits though, because of the fava plant being different. Uh, to the mother plant, so we'll just have to wait and see. It'll be good if they're different because then that means there was a different uh, pollen from a different plant rather than the same plant. And that little one in there, there's a chili in there that's two from the left, two from the window, and two from the back. That one right in the middle, that is from a chili plant. Now these are from chili plants and they're much, much smaller, and those weak ones as well, but that is by far the strongest um, and all the other chilies in this bowl are quite small so you know that one is really doing very very well it's leagues ahead of the others out in the shed I've done a bit of work as well I've got a new bench a workbench constructed out of pallets so that I uh, can use a workbench as that one's in use as a greenhouse all my oak trees are starting to really produce some leaves now. Come around this way. There you go. These three in these pots are from 2018 uh, autumn. And I've got several 2019 ones that are now heavily guarded with slug pellets. Yeah. So that no slugs come in here. We're inside the old aviary as well, so birds can't get and eat these. So this is a perfect environment for them to start there's some other plants in here just buddleias and hydrangeas and yeah this one at the back you might have noticed there isn't anything much in there that is an acorn i'm just leave i don't think it's going to survive now but this one is uh gr it's growing much slower because it's grown out of um this acorn was already cracked so the fact that it's made it is, unfortunately it's smaller, so it might not do so well, but I don't know, maybe it'll catch up. And there's a, yeah, another one coming out, that acorn. Interesting. But yeah, the rest of the garden's looking really good. Lots of these corn flowers. There's a few um, foxgloves. You might see here, there's one here as well. And there's some smaller ones, lots of them by the Avery here. And the white Buddleia container. 
This is full of white buddleia that I saved from cuttings from the one that died last year. And there's the rest, rest of the garden. Yeah. And that's it for now, and I will do a video update next month, and we'll see how the progress is going on in there.